prayer. Tonight's story is called Thomas, James and the Red Balloon. One day, the Fat Controller sent Thomas to take over something very important to the airfield. What have you got there? asked Percy. It's a balloon, said Thomas, a very special big balloon. Thomas soon arrived at the airfield. People were waiting there to help unload the balloon. Hot air was pumped into the balloon. As if by magic, the balloon rose silently into the sky. Everybody was impressed. Just then, James arrived. What's that, he said when he saw the balloon. It's a hot air balloon, said Thomas. Holidaymakers can ride in it. But what if it takes our passengers away? Said James. This made Thomas very worried. The balloon could be seen by everybody on the island as it floated high in the sky. It took people on trips all over the island. James did not like it. Passengers belong on trains, not in balloons, he said. After that, wherever James went on the island, he saw the red balloon. And Thomas and James often had to take passengers to the airfield so they could go for a ride in the balloon. James had had enough. Those people shouldn't be travelling by balloon, he said. Rails are better than hot air any day. One day, Thomas and James were at a level crossing. When the balloon came drifting towards them, help, we're out of hot air, said the balloon driver. The balloon landed on top of James. He was scared, so he let out a huge burst of steam. Whoosh! The balloon rose up into the air again. Well done, James, said the fat controller. Your hot air rescued that balloon. I wish it hadn't, said James. Now our passengers will all ride in the balloon instead. The fat controller laughed. Don't worry, the holidaymakers all need a lift to and from the airfield by train. James was delighted. So happy. The fat controller was right. The engines were busier than ever, taking passengers to and from the airfield. Thomas and Bertie often had races to see who could get to the airfield first. Can you see Thomas racing Bertie the bus? All the engines started looking out for the balloon. One day, Henry was surprised to see it floating above him by the beach. Donald and Douglas thought the balloon was splendid. They liked watching it float over the engine sheds. Now, whenever James sees the balloon, he whistles and toots at it. And sometimes, when James is asleep at night, he has his pleasant dreams. Of the red balloon flying in the sky. That's all for tonight, Freya. Love you lots.